The DP reserve line is pure. Inspiring. Precision. It's all about exactness. Craftsmanship. Artistry. I've been at Telemade for 17 years, um, and this is probably one of the first times we've been able to capture this level of detail. It's really unlocked a whole nother level. I'm really excited to introduce to you the new TP Reserve, which is our new fine milled putter line. 15 years ago, we launched the first big spider. Today, these fine milled putters is a whole different category. It's a new opportunity for us. It's about performance that comes in the shape of classic designs. What we've done with Spider has really changed the performance level of what putters are today. But there's still a big, large bucket of golfers that love the look of a classic putter shape. And that's the big opportunity for us is to be able to get into that category. We've been looking and, and talking about premium style putters for decades. You know, it's such a nuanced category of products that, you know, until you really want to commit yourselves to doing it, you shouldn't do it uh, because the the level of detail and the and the just the time and patience that you have to have to kind of get it right. We finally committed ourselves to it. Putting is, I would say it is an art in so many ways, not only the product itself, but the, you know, when you're reading a putt, you know, the, the line, the speed, the, just the, you know, imperfections sometimes that you see in, in, in greens or, or the eight different lines you can take to make a putt, like the same thing applies for a putter like this. We want to find a way that speaks to, you know, our brand and to our consumer that when they look at it, they go, wow. That's nice. I've been the lead engineer on TP Reserve since the beginning. We decided as a group, especially with the executives, that this needed to be like very premium putter, it needs to be elevated above everything we've done before. There's no margin for error, it's gotta be perfect. Yeah, I'd say it was a very demanding um, request where we wouldn't accept anything but perfection. And perfection is a different thing to different people. Uh, but with Bill Price at the helm, he met perfection in every possible way, shape, and form. So in CAD, you know, you're zooming in to what nobody would be able to see with the naked eye and, and, and debating back and forth about tenths of a millimeter, deciding which one is better. Like, do we want to make it, you know, 7.9 or 8 millimeters? So it's it was a big deal going back and forth with Bill. It wasn't just like changing just the top line or changing the bumpers. It was every single feature we, we debated about uh, time and time again. Going all milled really unlocked a whole level of detail that we are now able to capture compared to where we've been in the past. And when you're all milled, you go straight to sandblasting after uh, the milling process. So you're preserving all that geometry, all the detail we worked so hard to capture. I've got a few heads here that are representative of the larger line of TP Reserve um, that show us our different shapes and different hosels. Um, first here we have the uh, B11, which is a tour-inspired shape, um, which is a very traditional shape for us. Next here we have our B31, which is a wide body blade inspired by our Del Monte. We've shallowed out the face height and created a thinner top line which is a lot which is more appeasing, again, from feedback from tour players. Okay, moving on here to our mallets in our reserve line. Uh, first one here is our M27. This is inspired by our Bandit, line, uh, Bandit model. Another head here that we have in our mallet line is our M33. This is the three head with the three short slant hosel. This is a, a very round mallet, very traditional. Um, 
We're excited here. This is a new shape for us with the reserve line, and uh, we look forward to uh, getting a lot of our better players to, to play with this or to test it out because this is a, a shape that we haven't had for a while and a lot of players have been asking for. Well, I think to some players, a blade looks like a blade, looks like a blade. And to, to the, the great eyes that are out there today, especially the tour players, it's about precision. We feel there's a golfer that that wants to know that somebody spent the time to look at every little detail, every minute detail in that putter and took the care and obsession to get it right. And those are the people that the TP Reserve is for. I'm most excited just to see everybody's reaction. We haven't really done a putter like this in the past. We want to prove to the world that we're capable to do this and elevate it to levels that maybe haven't really been achieved in the past. And just having this new level of seriousness in this category that we haven't done, and just show what we can do from a precision standpoint, from a detail standpoint, and just really have people accept us in this really high premium category. We expect to see TaylorMade in this category. We've talked about it for many years, but we finally feel that opportunity is right now because we've gone so far with Spider now. And we dominate that category that we're in with Spider. Now it's the opportunity for us to go to that next level. It's as much, if not more, art than it is science. And, you know, to have a putter that you believe in is part of the success of making putts.